Hey guys, my name is Antonio Arce, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to create a to-do list mobile app using Power Apps and Excel as our database. So there are a few things we need to do uh, in order to create our first app, and this is going to take maybe five to ten minutes, depending on on uh, our internet connection and how well you 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 know you keep up the speed with the video. But essentially, we need to cover a few steps to do so, and this is the summary. We're going to create our Excel file and add the headers we're going to include in our table that we're going to use as our database to feed the app. Then we're going to create uh, name that table and basically format it as a table in Excel so that we can assign a name to it. And that way we can connect to Power Apps later. Then we're going to save that uh, table, that Excel file in OneDrive because that's where Power Apps is going to automatically look for it. Then we're going to go to Power Apps and create basically our Power App uh, mobile version almost automatically. You're going to see it's going to be very, very easy uh, basically to create it without actually creating code. Then we're going to walk you through uh, how the app works. Uh, basically, it has the add functionality, the edit functionality, the delete functionality, and you can just you know create, create tasks and uh, assign it to people by project and assign due dates, uh, status change, and all that kind of stuff. We're using, uh, yeah, basically with, with, with choices, uh, if you like. You can add, create uh, drop down menus and all that kind of stuff. And uh, basically, then we're going to rearrange the gallery so we can show you how you modify that automatically created app. So let's jump into it. Hey, guys. So here we are with our Excel file. I have created just an Excel file and added a few columns with the type of fields uh, I want to capture in the app. So basically, we have created a field to capture a project name, another field to capture the task name, another field to ca uh, capture task description, the task owner, the due dates, and the status. Now, the next step we're going to do is basically create this and format it as a table. So in order to do that, let me just expand my ribbon here. I just need to select my headers. And you can do this either by using the mouse or just you know clicking here. And in your keyboard, just Control Shift and use the right arrow. That's going to move and select everything automatically containing data in the cells. So with that, you just go to home menu and you can click format as table and then you just pick a format you want to use in reality it doesn't matter which one you pick the, the important thing here is that we define it as a table now when we select it here now it's asking me okay here's where you want to create a table using this cells and here is the checkbox that is important that you click it because here we're going to say my table contains already headers so that it takes in consideration the headers on the top so let's click ok and as you can see uh it created a a table for me now we basically empty right we don't have anything in our first row so here we can just uh create a project which could be let's say uh power apps training so recur a video right and maybe it's record a video and here we're gonna do uh, the power app to Excel video so the owner is gonna be Antonio Arce then the the date is gonna be probably today and the status is uh, work in progress so the, the reason why I added here is because uh, so that we, we create our first app you will automatically see this task in it. So now, now that you have created your table, now the next step is to do a file, save as, and then you're gonna uh, connect to your OneDrive. I already have created a folder inside of my OneDrive. So I can just go here, go to my YouTube, YouTube channel uh, where I have all my videos, and I already created a folder for this app. So I'm just going to select it here and going to add maybe a name, right? Uh, so we can reference later. And the name is going to be uh, App Database, right? We click Save. 
Now, one thing I just forgot to do, it was to name that table. That's really important so that you can easily select the right table from Power Apps. The way you do so is you select any, any place in the table and you should see a table design tab on the top uh, that's enabled. If you're selecting any other place, that tab goes away. So it's very important that you select the table. And now here on the left side here, you can basically add the name you wanted for that table. So let's call it uh, app DB as database. And then we click enter. Then we just click save since we already have it. Uh, well, it's automatically saving, so I don't really don't need to save it in OneDrive. So once I'm, I'm done with it, I can just close it out because uh, now basically what we're going to do is to move to Power Apps and create, create our app. So now we're going to create our app. In order to do so, you need to access Power Apps, uh, which is basically a Office 365 account. So in order to access your uh, Office 365 account, you you know you should have an account first. Uh, if you're working for a company and uses uh, the cloud like 365, you should have already an account. So you can just uh, type check if you have a login dot Microsoft Online dot com. Once you access that, it's going to bring you to the login page. You just use your credentials, and once you open, you will see this menu. Now, in some cases, if you're new to Power Apps, probably you don't see this icon here. So what you will need to do is just go to your All Apps. And once you click there, you will see all the apps, the 365 apps you have access to based on your uh, account uh, business, for example, or, or account settings. Uh, so here we're going to select Power Apps, which is this one. Once you go to Power Apps, uh, another easy way, right, will, will have been just access make.powerapps.com. And this will bring you to this menu. Once we're in this menu, what we need to do is just go to the left side, click Create, because we want to create our app. Then the second step is going to ask you is from which data source you're going to use. So I'm, we're going to say uh, Excel Online. Now it's going to basically look for uh, OneDrive and allow me to search for which Excel file I want to use as my database. So here we just wait until it loads. Now it's asking you, okay, from where? Do you want to use a SharePoint location with the uh, credentials or do you want to use uh, OneDrive? Since we created our Excel file in OneDrive, uh, you were going to select OneDrive. You could have save it on on a SharePoint location and use that one as well. But in this case, let's just pick OneDrive since we created it in OneDrive. Now we just need to look for it. So as you recalled, I got to go to IBS. Then I will go to our YouTube channel folder. Here I go to Power Apps. Here I go to my folder and then I should have our database. We call it app database. So I'm going to select it. And now it's going to ask me which table. Remember when we type uh, type in the name of the table? Here it is. This is the reason why we did it. So we select we select it and then click connect. Now that we're connecting, just wait, right? Uh, the, the great thing is Power Apps is building your app as we speak, right? It's just you know gathering the information, connecting to that Excel file, creating some screens for you so you can add, delete, and see actually in a gallery, in a list, uh, all your tasks. So you just need to wait here. It's basically doing all that connection, doing all the magic for you so, so that you don't even need to write any code and you have an app, a working app in less than five minutes, I guess. So uh, here you can just click OK. This is if you're new. And basically, this is the app. Uh, this is the menu of how Power Apps works. We're going to create some videos later on explaining, you know, all the different tabs and all that. But the important thing is to focus on what the tool created for us. So let's just uh, walk through this app, see what, what it does. All right. So let me just walk through to what the app just did for us or Power App just did for us.
Uh, since I'm in the design mode, I'm going to click play here so that it works as if it was live. Um, so what we see here is just basically our mobile screen, right? which has a gallery in here that, you know, you will see that as we continue to add more items in here, sorry about that, uh, you can see all the all those listed here. Also, you have a search box here, where which actually works pretty neat because you can just search or type in anything uh, and you can actually uh, set up what you want to search for, so if, it's, if it's the description, if it's the project names, the status, and all the kind of stuff. Uh, you can just add it here and and basically type in, right? If I say, let me see all the in the list, anything that contains Excel, this is the case. If I say PowerPoint, so it's not finding anything because the list we have there, nothing in there just contains PowerPoint. So this is the main uh, searching window for each one of the tasks we're gonna create. And we can just modify this. I'm gonna show you in a bit. Uh, the app already has functionality so that you can click here and see the details. So in case basically uh, in that window, right, in this first window, you don't, don't see all the fields. You wanna review all the fields, you can click here and just go through the due date, project name, uh, description, task name, task owner, and task status. As you can see, basically these headers is what it actually pick from the Excel file. Uh, so uh, since you, you noted that I created uh, all the names without spaces, right? You got to correct that later on. And there's a reason behind it. I, I will explain that in the second video we're going to create with SharePoint uh, of why it's important we don't use spaces. But anyways, going back here, uh, basically this is a window where you can just view all the data of that specific task you just selected. If you want to edit that task, you click edit here and it will open all the fields for you. So you can just, you know, do any changes to it i'm gonna say it too uh maybe in the description test so you can see that it actually records all the changes and now let's say i, I got completed this one so once i click the checkbox it's actually connecting to the excel file you have in your onedrive so if you actually open your excel file now you will see these changes uh in there and then it just goes back to the view window. I'm gonna click back again. Well, actually, let me just go here. It already created a trash can for us. So basically, if I want to delete that record, I will just click here. It will automatically delete it for me from the Excel file, which is our data source in this app. So I'm gonna go back here. Let's say I wanna add another task. So when I click here, I wanna assign a due date. Let's say it's gonna be on the 30th of June. I'm gonna click OK. The project name is the, let's say, Excel training videos. So what I need to do, yeah, I gotta record. We'll just put pivot table video. So here I need to record a pivot table video. And I'm gonna assign it to um, Marisolis Rivera. And then this status, let's call it open, right? So I'm gonna say, okay, I click the checkbox here. And now I have two tasks. And you know, I, I can continue just to do that. Um, I, let me just show you the, the, the search now. If I select pivot, you will know that it automatically just selects the, the task that I just created. And that's basically the functionality that uh, we just created in, in a few minutes of our uh, Power Apps creation. So now let's just go to that Excel file. Let's go, go to my OneDrive again. And let's see what happened on that, that OneDrive. I'm going to open it. Just waiting here. Now, what you will see here is that it actually created a second uh, task in here. One thing it actually added as well is a column because in order for Power App to connect to this Excel file, it actually needs to define what CID so it, it can actually relate the data. 
Okay, so now let me just quickly show you how uh, we modify our Power App uh, in case we need to. So let's go back to Power Apps. In this case, I'm going to exit the Play menu or, or yeah, the production menu. Just click OK here. Fine. If, for example, uh, right now this is showing the task name in this label inside of our gallery. It's showing a description and it's showing the task name. So probably the task name, actually, it probably got it inverted. Uh, but anyways, let's say we're going to say we're going to uh, change this to our due date. So you can say this item dot due date, and it automatically shows what our Excel file has. And it did it for all the cases. Uh, in a similar fashion, you can go to this item and you know, in order to move here without going to play, you can press alternate key and then just click. It basically kind of allows you to work in the design mode and allows you to kind of work as if, if, if it was live. Okay. So in here, uh, basically, we're going to edit this form because we for some, we don't like to do that on the top. Let's say we go to edit fields. And what you just need to do is just, you know, pick, just move around. A drag and drop, right? Uh, project name, maybe we want the task name here. We want the task description here. Maybe the owner, the status, and lastly, the due date. Also, if you want to, you know, improve this, right, you can just, you know, make it bold so that you have a better view of your data. Uh, or if you want to change the label, right, you just click here. Uh, you will need to unlock it. And once you unlock it under text property, you can just, you know, in in quotes, you can say uh, the name you want to add. In this case, we want to do project name, I think it was. That way, we actually added the space. If you want to change it to another thing, you can do so as well. But this is basically how uh, the basics of editing a Power App. So, well, I hope you have liked this video. If you haven't even tried Power Apps before, I really strongly recommend you. You don't need previous experience writing code because you're probably, you can create a lot of stuff, yeah, grow in your career just by showing your boss uh, what you can do with this Power Apps. If you have enjoyed this video, please share it with your colleagues. Uh, co-workers, friends, uh, anybody you think that could uh, take advantage and grow in their career, uh, entrepreneurship, or whatever you, you guys do, and just for fun. Uh, so just share it, subscribe, uh, and let, let us know if you can, uh, if it was helpful for you or not in the comments. Thank you, guys.